Hey guys, Michael here from pinups.eu. Uh, this is gonna be a very quick uh, video. I uh, just wanted to let you all know I will try to make one video every week, but I'm very busy lately with all kinds of stuff, so I'll try to do my best and get this, these videos up here. Uh, normally I start with uh, warm up sketches in the morning, just to get the blood going, you know, it loosens up my hand and gets me kind of ready for my everyday work. I'd recommend it to every artist out there. Uh, just do some loose sketching and try to do it every day or every other day. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I got a question from Adam asking me how I draw the outlines. And he asked me if I was using Illustrator or some kind of plugin. Well, Adam, uh, no. Uh, I'm working with Autodesk Sketchbook Pro, in my opinion, a great little tool because it's very responsive. Um, Sketchbook Pro 6 now is available for only 59 US dollars, I guess. And <laughs> no, I'm not here to promote it. I just wanted to say it's very cheap when comparing it with Photoshop. Okay, so here's the sketch I did recently. And there's this great little feature in Sketchbook Pro uh, which will draw what you draw but with some kind of delay on it. It's a bit hard to explain but it gets the line cleaner and smoother. I use it all the time so uh, yeah here we go. We have this little uh, tool and that's called free. What they mean by this is it's freehand so it's like you draw on paper with a normal pencil. You know, the traditional way, not digitally. Um, I have my sketch layer and I'll make it more transparent. I'll add another layer where I will draw the outline to show how my out our, uh, outlines work. So I use this uh, hard pencil and this little tool next to the freehand tool is a steady stroke. Well, it explains it already. It's a steady stroke. It makes makes the lines look uh, more smooth and clean. So by double clicking it, you got this slider. And to the left it says less. To the right it says more. Now going all to the left, it's almost well. It's like you draw freehand. But as you can see, when I draw quick lines, it's pretty straight. But when I draw slow lines it's getting all this bubbly getting a bit bubbly you know so that's why they invented or included this little tool and it's great by going with the slider a little more to the right you get some sort of drag you know some sort of delay and it's a great little tool I can draw this uh, freehand no way Draw this freehand. Nope. New. Nope. So, great little tool, like I said. I will give you a quick demonstration because, yeah, a bit of a time issue here. Um, play around with it, you know. Uh, more. More is more drag. Less is less drag. Play around with it, make it your own. Okay, so usually I set it up to here. Um, close it and we're in the right layer with a hard pencil. Thickness is cool. Zoom in a little and we draw this line. I'm very zoomed in so it looks a bit pixelated but it's not when zooming out. Maybe a little more. You know, like I said, um, I can't draw these lines freehand. It'll take me years and years to get to where this line is going. Little eyebrow, another eyebrow, make it a little thicker. Also great is that I can use it with a with an eraser. This way I get my lines all smooth and yeah that's the way it works really. A 
Little horn on the left. Again with the eraser. Drawing the horn like this and this to get a nice clean cut. Take the eraser. Okay, so I hope this will uh, answer your question, uh, Adam. And I will go more in depth on it a little later. But you get the idea. You see, by zooming out, you get a lot more clean line. Zooming out even more. Looks very sharp. Okay, so yeah, that's it for now, really. Try and play with the settings of the steady stroke and make it your own. I'll be back with another video soon where I will sp explain how I color my artwork and show you some of my shading, okay? Thanks guys, bye bye for now.